We as Christians have received the mandate to make, to go into the nation and make disciples. As far as I remember, making a disciple doesn't require any criteria. You can be tall, short, white, black, whoever. Jesus wants you to become his disciple. And that, again, include, includes a person with disability. And estimates are that 80% to 85% of churches don't have any level of special needs. And I want to pause here. Please clap for River of God Church. Because you are not part of the 80 or the 85% that doesn't have a, church, a, a special needs ministry. We had a little girl who came to this church for many years and she loved her pastor. She would always come to my office every day. And you see kids come to my office every so often. But this one, uh, my namesake, she would always come into my office. The mom left the church and she hadn't said hi to me. She would cry all the way home. But they had a special needs child who was much older. And so it became really difficult for care us to take care of the older child who we didn't know what to do with her and the church wasn't designed for people with those challenges so they stopped coming to church and so this little girl who was my friend stopped coming to church and I don't know whether they still go to church or not but you know what we purposed in our hearts me and Pastor Carl, that will be the last friend we shall lose we have a lot of men and women children who are disadvantaged, whether physically, mentally, but God still wants to use them and He can still perform miracles through them. Autism is not an illness. It is not contagious. It is not the result of bad parenting. It is not a curse. It is just a different functioning of the brain a different wiring of the brain that's why most of them communicate differently whether it is verbally or non-verbally they perceive the world differently as well and the behavior may, may may seems to us strange but that's what autism is if you would have told me four years ago even two years ago that one day my son will write or will be able to read but even more typing that Jesus is his Lord and Savior I wouldn't I wouldn't believe you but that's what God did in my son's life last week he asked one of his therapists are you born again so this morning I'm standing before you telling you once again that there's nothing impossible to God maybe we have parents here with children with special needs and you think why is what is the use of bringing them into church don't be discouraged. What God has done, sorry, Mika. What God has done in my son's life, He can do it in your son, in your child's life. There is absolutely nothing impossible to Him.